Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video I would like to talk about the Thieves Guild and whether or not it's worth it to beat the Thieves Guild. Now, interesting quest the Thieves Guild is. I think overall, maybe not the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, but the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood Guild and the Arena have some pretty cool quests you do inside of them. So. The Thieves Guild is the one, you know, you get into it because you go to jail, you have to go to jail for some crime. It can be 20,000 murders, it can be stealing an apple, literally any crime, you go to jail. You get a note and you join the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild, really the perks you get from it is you can steal some shoes, the boots of spring -Heel Jack, which I guess they're cool actually, they fortify your sneak and I believe acrobatics, maybe just acrobatics, I don't remember exactly, it's been a while. And their shoes, which means if you're a mage, it could be kind of useful. And you get the gray fox cowl, which is an extremely good item. And you get to do some pretty cool quests. So I'm not going to lie. I think in terms of story, the Thieves Guild and Oblivion of the four guilds in the arena has the best story. I mean, you train to steal an Elder Scroll by manipulating blind monks. It's amazing. I was really happy when I finished this quest. It's got some really unique puzzles where you have to shoot a special arrow. If you miss the arrow, the game's just, it, it's like, oh, you died, so you, re, you know, reload a save. So, <clears throat> when it comes to stealing the Elder Scroll, after you do it, you have these Thieves Guild items. You have access to sell stolen goods, which, in my opinion, is better than the Fighter's Guild chest, because if you can sell stolen goods, that means if you need a little more money, for those, um, what do you call it, like the paying people to upgrade your skill, it's easier to just be like, okay, sneak into someone's house, grab a bunch of potions and sell things, than to go to Coral and check the chest, because the chest might not always have gold or items to sell, but houses always have things in them. So that's kind of where I see the stolen goods thing, really just if you need gold at that moment, you can just steal something. It's pretty simple. But what's really nice is the mask itself, the Gray Fox mask. It's an amazing piece of equipment. So it just fortifies sneak, does detect life, and adds 200 carrying capacity to your character, which might be like, okay, but there's a catch, the mask is enchanted. And if you put on the mask, any crimes you commit will be attributed to the Gray Fox instead of you. Any quests you do, including fame and infamy bonuses, go to the Gray Fox instead of your character. So, if you want to do something like kill someone to get an item or steal an item, you can do it with the gray fox and then take off the mask and everyone will be like, oh, it's just you, the character, the hero of Kvatch or something like that, you know, whoever you are. And if you put it on, everyone's going to attack you and they know that you're the gray fox. But if you take it off, you can yield to them. And they're like, oh, it's just you. You're not the gray fox. It's cool enchant enchantments. And I like it as a dungeon kind of like a dungeon gear because it's a helmet which means it's not really gonna affect your stats unless you have a super dope enchanted helmet but if you're like a heavy armor guy and you need the carrying capacity you can just pop that on or maybe you're maxing out alteration and you need to carry stuff or you have a sneak character like there's a whole bunch of uses for the mask and i think for the mask alone it's worth it to complete the gray fox quests the i, I call them the gray fox quest thieves guild quest it's just really cool and I, I like the concept behind the mask. And you get a hideout. Like, you get a special building that's yours with people in it. Kind of like the, the Dark Brotherhood Guild hideout. So you have a place to put things. Which is nice. And, I mean, by that time, if you've stolen a lot of things and you have this Gray Fox mask, you're probably just going to collect a bunch of money anyways to buy your own house. But still. The story is really fun. The missions are fun. Sneaking around, stealing things. Always fun. And I say, yeah, it's worth it to complete the Gray Fox. The Thieves Guild. I keep calling it the Gray Fox. The Thieves Guild. Just, just for the mask alone. I would say just for the mask. The other things, selling stolen things or anything like that, bonus. So that's really it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.